Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Services project. In this video, we are going to learn about search services. So let's see how can we make this search box working. So first of all, let's create a controller. So switch to the command prompt. And for creating the controller, just type here the command php artisan make colon controller a space controller name. And let's say controller name is search controller. All right, now press enter. Okay, now run, run the application. So write here php artisan serve. Now switch to the project and let's open the search controller. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP controller. And from here, let's open this one search controller.php. Now inside this controller, uh, let's create a function for autocomplete. Okay, so here just write public function and function name and let's say function name is autocomplete and inside this just pass here the request dollar request okay and now inside this just write here dollar data is equal to model name service colon colon select uh, let's uh, select the uh, name column. So write here name and uh, then add here the condition where uh, column name like uh, just add here the like predicate like and then percent sign percent sign single curly bracket and then just write here dollar request arrow input and then query okay and then call here the get function all right now return response as a JSN, so write here JSN and just pass here data. All right, now save this file. Now let's create a route for this function. So let's copy this function name and go to the web.php file. So just go inside the routes directory, then open the web.php file. And inside this file, uh, let's create here after this. Uh, let's create a route so write here route colon colon get and uh, add here the URI slash autocomplete and then big bracket then just write here the controller name which is search controller then colon colon class and uh, inside single code just add here the function name which is autocomplete and also give the route name so write here name is equal to uh, name and name is autocomplete all right now save this file now let's open the base layout file so just go inside the resources directory then views layout and from here let's open this one base.blade.php file and inside this layout file uh, just go to the page bottom bottom of the page and uh, uh, <clears throat> before this at the rate live live wire scripts just right here at the rate a stack and a stack name a scripts okay now save this file now let's open the home component view file so just go inside the live wire and uh, from here let's open this one home dash component dot blade dot php file okay and inside this file you can see here this is the search form okay which id is is form and uh, this is the action method and here is the input text field okay and this is the submit button 
now uh, inside this page go to the bottom of the page and here let's add the at the rate push and add here the name which is this one a scripts and after this just close here the post directive so right here in the post and inside this post directive let's add here some javascript code so right here script tag script type is equal to text javascript javascript okay and inside this first of all create a variable for path so right here where path is equal to in double quote curly bracket then route and right here the route name this one autocomplete okay and now dollar dollar Uh, let's check the form search form okay let's copy this class name type it so inside this just write here input dot type it dot type head type a h this one type a head okay and inside this you just pass here the source and uh, inside this source just pass here function and uh, first uh, pass two parameter here first is query and second process okay and inside this function just return dollar get and pass here the path this path okay and comma then query colon query and after this just add here the callback function function data and inside this just return process and inside this process pass here this data okay now i did the semicolon also here all right now save this file and now let's check this auto complete so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now let's type anything inside this search box so i'm just going to type here a and you can see here these are the auto populated auto completed services okay if i write uh, if i write t you can see here all right okay now switch to the project and uh, go to the search controller and here let's create another function uh, for searching services so right here public function and function name search service okay and inside this also pass your request dollar request and inside this First of all, uh, create a variable service slug and here is tr slug and inside this just pass here the query ok uh, inside the search form you can see here the name of the input text field which is q okay so here just write dollar request arrow q 
and uh, right here dash it will convert the q value in slug okay and also you put here this str so right here use str this one and now if dollar service slug then just return and redirect to this route slash service slash and concatenate dollar service slug okay otherwise else just return back now save this file now let's create a controller uh, for this function so let's copy this function name and go to the web.php file and after this let's create another route so right here route and this time method post and also add here uh, the uri which is search okay and here add the controller name which is search controller then colon colon class and function name which is search service and uh, also give the route name so write your name search service all right now save this file now let's copy this route name and uh, go to the home component.blade.php file and uh, here inside this form first of all just remove this action and uh, add here double curly bracket and just write here route and then paste here the route name which is search service okay method is post and uh, also inside this form just pass here the csrf token so right here at the rate csrf all right now uh, let's add some javascript code so inside this after this just write here dollar document dot ready and add here the callback function and now dollar this one input dot type ahead dot change then function and inside this if any changes inside this uh, search box then submit the form okay so right here dollar paste form dot submit i think there is no need uh, for this code so just remove this this is not required okay now save this and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay now let's search here any services so let's say right here ac and let's select anyone now click on search and you can see here the selected service details okay now let's try one more time so just go to the home page and uh, this time let's search another one okay select uh, this one click on search and you can see here the selected searched uh, service details okay so in this way you can create search box for services 
so that's all about such services so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching